<laughs> Hi there, I'm Wendy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here and you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified of all my future uploads. So today we're gonna jump right in and take a look at a coffee subscription. So let's just jump right to it. Okay, so we're back. Today we're gonna take a look at Angel's Cup, and sorry I had to open it, but this is what it looks like when it shows up to your house. Now, this costs $10.99 per month. Now, we choose a medium roast, but you have light, medium, dark, and then for those of you who are avid drinkers, there are larger subscriptions, if that's something of interest. I'll put a link down below for you to go ahead and check it out, but we're gonna jump right in and do this taste test. So with the Angel's Cupping Flight, they set it up sort of as a test. You get all of your samples here and they have corresponding blind taste tests. So what you can do is you can do it by yourself, you can do it with your friends, family, significant other, whatever you wanna do. And I have these guys back here again because y'all know I'm not a, a coffee drinker whatsoever. So we go by what they're saying. So just as a reminder for those of you um, who are new here, so this is my brother-in-law, Terry. Say hi, Terry. Hi. This is my husband, Ryan. Hello. So we're just gonna jump right to it. Y'all ready? Okay, so, oh, and while they're doing this little sip, you get four um, tasting packets, if you will, in, in each of the deliveries. All right. This one smells like coffee. We don't taste like coffee. <clears throat> It's bitter. <laughs> it's, it's, it, or is that what you're getting? I mean, to me, it's yeah, bitter it's, like it's, it's, a cocoa bean. I've, of oh all, my. you two are usually this. Yeah. It's, bitter like, cocoa, yeah. Yeah. it's bitter like that. Yeah. yeah, that's nasty. Yeah. And also watery in a way. Like at the end, it was like very watery. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm so I'm bit, on. I'm going bittery. Yeah, it's very bitter. Bittery? Okay. All right, so I didn't, I didn't know it either, but that's okay. We're just gonna roll with it. It's called a windyism. Oh, that's right, that's right, windyism. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the origin is Nicaragua. The process is natural. The flavors, okay, you're almost kind of right. I mean, I'll give it to you, but it's a slight. It's only like a little half check. Florals, red wine, chocolates. That was your half check. And raisins. Any really? of those things. I guess the bitter could be from the wine. Yeah, the, the wine and the chocolate. Yeah. And it says, this is very nice. It has a medium body with some sweet, fruity, slash florals up front and getting almost a red up wine front? flavor. <laughs> I'm just reading what the card <laughs> says. And it sweet, says, fruity, very nice. it up says front. you're also getting notes of chocolate undertones with some raisins and tangerine. Look at that. You missed your one time to say tangerine, y'all. That's what it looks like. That's because the bitterness of the cocoa was killing everything else. Goodness. Uh, yeah, okay. It was bitter from the get-go. Yeah. From the smell, too. Yeah. It was a little rough. I'm not going to lie. No, no. All right. This one don't smell much better. It don't smell as bad. No. Oh, they're doing multiple tastes on this one so it must be something interesting see if you would have switched that last one around you would have got the wine in it oh am i supposed to swish this one around yeah oh i gotta swish it around y'all that tastes like it's got a berry in it somewhere mm -hmm. but uh, what kind i yeah. can't answer that it's not elderberry <laughs> <laughs> and it's not blueberry uh -uh. I can't taste it when I'm swishing it around in my mouth. I was just doing that because you like to drink wine. <laughs> You're ignorant. <laughs> You're the one that did it, not me. <laughs> no. Okay. I taste, it's very dry mouth. Like at the end, it's very dry. Like very dry. I didn't really That's get a the flavor. Wine. That's the wine. That's the wine. That's the wine. There, yeah. Y'all, I can't with them. That could be a passion fruit. No. So, I'm anywho, the origin is Guatemala. The process is natural. The flavors are chocolate, grape, cherry, and plum. Maybe that's what we was tasting the plum because we ain't had that taste before. Come on, could be. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. It says delicious body is between light and medium, getting some mild acidity and some distinct uh, fermentation taste. That's what I was tasting, that fermentation. So it, that's like a, wine. Yeah, so it's, it's almost fermented. like an elderberry. The plum is. You don't Maybe. even know what elderberry is. <laughs> Maybe Lord. it's like an elderberry wine. Yeah. I vey. And this says mostly no, getting I don't notes. Know what are. <laughs> you do you not know what they are? Do yes, I know oh, what they are. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> do you know what they are? No. No. Yes, you do. We've had We're tea. We're talking with... about you. Yeah, huh? We've had tea with elderberry in them. She didn't even know what sassafras was. Okay. We're oh, getting off goodness. topic. We're getting off topic. <laughs> So, anywho. Where do you live at? <laughs> She's citified. I'm ignoring them. No, you're All right. Not. Mostly getting notes of chocolate, grape, cherry, and plum. Y'all, I just can't even handle this. Let's move, let's move on to the third one. Now, your apple cups. Now, this is our blind taste test C. And you can see they all have numbers, and they correspond with each one of their samples. Now, that is very light coffee, but at least for once it actually taste and then got all them wild flavors smells like a coffee I think it smells like peach you're insane I'm telling you I smell peach I got a peach flavor it's very light very light yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. after that first <laughs> <laughs> Did that help? Did you get a flavor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you telling me now that you can't, you don't have. No, I'm telling you no. Mm. No, I haven't. That's why I sniffed like, like right now, right now, I, I've got a peach taste in my mouth. Sorry. I think okay. it's the apple from the apple cup. Could be. Very well could be. Listen, we're going to go to the car. It might be a red delicious or green apple. That's yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay. The origin is Guatemala. The process is washed. Flavors, chocolate, orange, peach. Are you sure you didn't look at this car? <laughs> and almond. Well, I didn't get no almond. I mean, all I got was peach. Yeah. We hurt. <laughs> um, the tasting notes. Now you can smell that. Sm no, I'm talking about smell the peach. Smell Smell the peach. Oh my goodness, it smells like I'm, peaches. I'm telling you. It's almost like peaches and cream. I mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, you, you guys. guys are just jealous. <laughs> Whatever. It says overall, the coffee has a nice medium body with some really nice, sweet, silky mouthfeel. Now, I will agree with that. There is a bit of fruitiness from peach or orange, but not acidic, just fruity. Finally, there is some nuttiness and chocolate in the finish. Okay. No. I didn't catch. I didn't catch that. Uh -huh. We know you caught the peach. Good job, honey. All right, moving on. Let's right along, y'all. All right, here's our final tasting. This is taste blind taste test D. That's this really one, light. It's very light. I would try to show y'all, but you know what happened last time I tried to do that and I spilled it all over the place. He obviously doesn't like it. We can't see your face, honey. Uh, we can't see your face. Wait, I forgot to smell it first. I don't know. I'm going to get told I'm crazy. Because <laughs> I can just hear the comments coming out. What is it? It's either lime or lemon. What is... That either has lime or lemon zest, something like that in it. And well, it ain't Sprite. Definitely yeah. not Sprite. Could be 7-Up. <laughs> Terry, or what squirt. are you tasting? Squirt. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going back old school. That is old school. <laughs> what do you got? It's I've got a... I got that, that bitterness. Is, it's, a, yeah. it's a citric no, bitterness. No, like see, I said, I, got I think it's lemony or lime or something. But I got kind of a sweet taste. Okay. Well, I'm going to say there's more in it than that yeah. that's given that. I'm just picking up that... I As can't taste would anything, y'all. Note of it, yeah. Note of like it. when you first notes first sip note. it, there it's it's very sweet for being black coffee. Yeah. Now, now see the first thing I get when I hit when that literally hits yeah. my tongue, I get the bitterness. Yeah. Before I get anything else. Hmm. To me, it tastes very bland. I don't. I mean, I do. 
I feel like it's light in your mouth, but I don't really taste any of the other ones. Y'all ready? It's almost like hot butter. Okay. The origin is Ecuador. The processed is washed. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> Do right. I get to put my sign up again? <laughs> Ryan was right. <laughs> Ay. So lemon, florals, and tropical fruit. Good job, honey. Good job. Tasting notes. This is a very nice, clean cup. It has some of the traditional washed Ethiopian notes like lemon and florals. It also has some fun, unique quote or quotes, train wreck, y'all, notes like tropical fruits. Remind us of, it reminds us of papaya, mango, and maybe passion fruit. So that's what that looks like. Well, good job, honey. Good job. You're just jealous. He nailed it. He did, Terry. He we're got, sl- apparently, we're slacking. Yeah, that's all right. It's all right. It happens. We'll give it to him. Yeah. So, will y'all give this tasting out yep. of four? Two or three of them are drinkable. And that's where I'm going to say it's drinkable. I'm not going to say I fell in love with them. But Terry, we see something different on your face. Yeah. Just saying. I don't like any of them. Well. It wasn't. No, that's just me. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it, y'all. Got mixed reviews. So let me know down in the comments. We're like Cisco and Ebert. That's right. Thumbs up. (laughs) I'm creating monsters right here, I swear. So let me know down in the comments if you've tried this. Um, So we'd be excited to hear hear your thoughts. And until we talk again, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.